for you folks about Sandakan. Sandakan started to flourish when the British North Borneo Company established a settlement here in 1879. But its history dates long before that. It's a port, it's rustic, and I love it. And the people are just so friendly. Sandakan is famous for its wildlife sanctuaries and rehabilitation centers. I am going to immerse myself with enough flora and fauna here to turn everyone I know green with envy. Yes, the pun was very intended. So here I am at Sapilo in Sandakan and I am feeling invigorated. Wildlife Sanctuary has been in operation since 1964, meaning it's been around longer than my mom. I am told that this place has been responsible for natural conservation in the area of Sandakan. It is an area teeming with natural wonders here in Sabah, and I am needless to say very excited. I will be meeting Madam Sylvia and she will give me a proper picture of this place. It is a center where we reintroduce orphan orangutans back into the, you know, back into the wild through a program or through a process called rehabilitation. So when we became part of Malaysia in 1963, then there was a law to protect them. So no one is allowed to keep them. So when no one was allowed to keep them, then a lot of these ones come into Sepilok because Sepilok was already a forest, a protected forest, this whole 10,000 acres. And uh, the center was established here. I have 
been loitering around here at the Orang Utan's sanctuary and thinking to myself on the fate of this species. The need for exotic pets from as far back as 300 years ago has caused the near extinction of this majestic animal. This is our collective responsibility, people. We must be more vigilant and caring. I feel like singing a song, something about all the animals in the forest. As long as love has arrived, and I'm thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true, can't take my eyes off you.